All right, hey everybody. Great day, queens. Greetings, kings. Thank you for tuning into my channel today and welcome back to the OG Project. Today we're gonna to talk about eczema. La, la, la. <laughs> right, okay, so eczema, right? Some of us have it, most of us don't, but a lot of us do, right? And it's just an itchy situation that nobody really wants to keep doing. I am 28 years old and I've had eczema my whole life. My whole entire life, okay? And sometimes I go weeks, months, no outbreaks, everything's cool, my skin is flawless, I am shining, I'm glowing, it's perfect, right? And then other times I am just like with itchy spots everywhere, dry spots, it's ugly, I'm embarrassed, I don't want to wear clothes that reveal my skin, I don't want to go out to the house, I don't want to do any of that, okay? So now I'm 22 weeks away pregnant and I'm vegan and I don't want to keep having it, right? I've reached that point in my life where I no longer want to have eczema and I'm on a mission to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like when I say get rid of it, I don't want it no more, right? So let's talk about eczema. What is eczema? Eczema is actually an autoimmune disease. A lot of us probably were unaware of that. Some of you might just be hearing that for the first time if you have eczema. I found out that eczema was an autoimmune disease probably a little bit under a year ago when I first started my transition into the vegan planetarian lifestyle, right? So my whole life, I thought that eczema was just a topical skin issue, meaning like the detergent that I'm using, the soaps, the lotions, smell goods, all of those things. I'm thinking that's what's causing my eczema to flare up. So if I don't use things with a bunch of stuff in it, chemicals, I won't flare up, right? And wrong, that is not the case. It is actually a gut issue. Stems from the inside. Which most most diseases and most issues come from the inside, but it's neither here nor there. I'll talk about that another day, right? So I found out that it was an autoimmune disease and it had to do with the things I was eating. So naturally, right? I'm like, hey, I'm about to go vegan. I'm not gonna eat dairy, I'm not gonna eat eggs, I'm not gonna eat meat, so shellfish, all of these things that would be considered like adjectives, right? Things that cause inflammation, things that make you flare up. So I'm like, cool, once I get that out of my diet, I should be good to go. Wrong again, wrong again, right? And it's not true. I've been vegan for almost a year now, like mostly plant-based for probably like six, seven months of that. With a, with a hiccup here and there, because I do love carbs. I love bread, y'all, and french fries. I mean, who doesn't love french fries, right? Potatoes were created by the devil. If there was such a thing as the devil, he created potatoes all by himself, single-handedly, to keep all of us fat and sick, okay? Let me just tell you. We ain't gonna worry about that. So, being vegan, I still have eczema. And then, I'm pregnant. So, with being pregnant, you produce more blood, and long story short, it makes me flare up even more, right? Any of my pregnant mommies out there who have eczema, if you've ever experienced this, please comment below so we can link up and talk and cry to each other, okay? But anywho, um, yeah, so like right now, you see that now? I have it on my hand. That is so unappealing. And I can't be sitting out here talking to people about eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle with this on my hand. And my partner keeps calling my hand, my brick hand, and I'm gonna punch him in his throat. But and he's right. Like it's, it's it's just so horrible. It looks ugly. Uh, I don't want to shake it in his hand. It just it really messes with your self esteem. You mean, like self worth. I don't say self worth. That's what they call it. But it messes with my self esteem. It kind of makes me insecure, right? So I told him recently, you know what? I'm gonna buckle down. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop allowing food to control me because we are women and food is life. I'm a foodie, vegan or not. I like to eat. Okay, and I like to eat good. I like my food to taste good. But that has to stop. Well, it not really has to stop. I just kind of change what I consider to be good eats, right? In my foodie life. So I'm doing a raw vegan fast. Most of my dishes are going to be raw. Like, we're talking like cucumbers, zucchini noodles, squash. Squash noodles are actually really, really good. And my partner makes this mango sauce that is like to die for. Um, quinoa, wild rice. Really buckling down and eating mostly vegetables only. Only 
beans, I will be eating blue chickpeas. I'm not gonna be eating any other beans for the next couple of weeks, just to see how it goes. And I'm actually not gonna be eating that much chickpeas. It's mostly gonna be just vegetables and fruits that my diet is gonna consist of. Of course, a lot, a lot of water and a lot of herbs. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I know once I get it off of my skin, that will start to heal the inside. And eczema is part of leaky gut syndrome, right? Who knew? Nobody told me. I actually found this out through my own research. I should sue all of my dermatologists from the past. But anyway, let them have it. Um, they don't know no better. Won't judge nobody, right? So, leaky gut issue. Once your gut starts to heal and all those leaky spots start to get filled back up, boom, you're good. Like, you're not, I don't say you're good for life because you're still going to be sensitive to certain things like gluten, nuts, you know, dairy, things of that nature can still cause you to flare back up. But at least you don't have to live your life like tiptoe around it. You know what I mean? And I can probably splurge a little bit on strawberries. You know what I mean? Strawberries are inflammatory. Most of us don't know that, but they are. The same can cause you to flare up fish, raspberries, things of that nature, right? But I'll be able to eat those a little bit more freely without having to like immediately start itching my kitchen as soon as I do that, right? I love strawberries. Don't you love strawberries? I like, I like strawberries, okay? Um, and things of that nature, I'll be able to eat more variety of food and not have to worry as much about, you know, basically itching. I don't want to flare up. It is what it is. So, I am going to do that. I'm going to raw vegan fast. Then I am also going to be super, super, super serious about my herbs. I have, like, if I showed you guys my herb cabinet, you would think I'm like the herb lady, okay? We went to Jamaica, came back with a bunch of herbs. I still buy herbs on a regular. I mean, my family ships them to me. I have herbs for days. So I'm going to start experimenting more with taking like herbal baths, making herbal soaps, making herbal oils. I mean, it's just about to be really, it's about to get real, real out here. Y'all might walk past me and I'm probably going to be smelling like outside. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't even care no more because I need to get rid, rid of my eczema. And I've come to the conclusion that you have to get rid of it both ways. You got to fight it from the inside, which is the food you eat. You got to fight it from the outside, which is put on your skin. So that's why I have, I have reached my breaking point, you guys. I am there. I'm a grown woman. I should not have to cut my nails down to keep from scratching myself up so much. Because a lot of people tell you, like, oh, just don't itch. That, that, that ain't as easy as it sounds. And if you have eczema, I know that you understand, like, don't tell me just don't itch. Like, it ain't that easy, okay? I'm itching. Okay? Don't itch. do scratch. Leave me alone. So, yeah, if you have done anything that has helped your eczema in a natural, organic way, I would love to hear about it. We can link up, we can talk about it. I want recipes for soaps, oils, herbal baths. I mean, just whatever you have, give it to me. Share, let's help each other, okay? We are the itchy, itchy community, as my partner would call it. He calls us the itchy family because he's the only one who doesn't have eczema in the household. So he calls the rest of us the itchy family. And yeah, we are in this together, itchy family, okay? So let's become unitchy together. Let's help each other become unitchy, okay? So I will be posting like my recipes, what I eat for the day. I'm gonna be posting my herbal bath, con you know, things, concoctions that I come up with, the teas that I'm gonna be drinking. I am going to be checking in, giving you results, and the eat of my process. So yeah, let's share together, all right? So for the itchy family, let's do it, y'all, okay? Till next time, peace, love, and blessings.